Thanks for joining us on the cafe shortly. We'll be back in the Mastercraft kitchen with Mark and Josh to make those hawker rolls. Now though, when you make the decision to move into a retirement facility, choosing the right home can be quite difficult. In Perpetual Guardian Money Matters today, we have Charlotte Lockhart and from Covenant Trustee Services, Richard Spong. Charlotte, first up, how soon should we be thinking about it uh, before we or our loved ones need to go into a facility? Well, choosing the right facility can take some time and you might have to end up being on a waiting list as well. So do it sooner rather than later. You can always put the decision off later. Okay, which is why you brought an expert in yes. to talk to us about this. Now, Richard, do most facilities allow visitors, you know, do they allow you to go in and have a chat with residents? They do. We recommend visiting a number of villages and each village will have different options. Usually you meet with a village manager or a sales manager. You can also informally meet with residents as you're walking around, or some villages will uh, allow you to tour the facility with a resident, maybe go to a, 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 a drinks with them or a, a function. Because often they have functions there as well, don't they? A lot of them have the units and then they, they can move on to something when they need a little bit more care. And, and uh, the, the, probably one of the best times would be maybe a happy hour when everyone's there. <laughs> yes. um, and the, the care is very important and it's, it's how much you need as an individual. Mm. So you really need to consider um, your, your needs over the next little while and your, also your partner's needs. Yeah. So some people go for a lifestyle option, whereas others need that continuum of care. So they go from a retirement village to a rest home to a hospital. So who else should we be discussing all of our options with? We recommend that you talk to someone you trust. So that's normally your family, um, perhaps a friend who's in the village. You definitely need to take advice from a lawyer and uh, you should read the disclosure statement and the operation right agreement before you sign it. Because I guess it's a very prudent thing to do, isn't it, to actually think about the future before your health deteriorates and you can't really make those decisions yourself. I mean, what questions should you be asking about the facility? Uh, really, you need to know what your needs are and your yep. partners and, and, and forecast into the future and see if that village can suit your needs. Because a lot of people don't actually think they're old enough, do they? Like, we all <laughs> think of ourselves as being much younger than what we are, but it is probably ideally a good idea to be thinking about these things while you're still healthy and you've got everything working. <laughs> everything Agreed. works nicely. Yeah. <laughs> you can make the most of them too because they've got some great, some of they them have do. got some amazing, incredible facilities there. Um, most importantly too, the cost. What do we need to watch out for? Well, there's a number of uh, factors. One is whether you can afford it going in. So it's, it's a bit like a property purchase. You need to be able to afford the property when you go in there. Uh, there'll be ongoing costs, usually a weekly fee. Some are fixed, others will go up with inflation. And then there's a, a cost at the exit, um, and that'll depend on the operational right agreement that you sign. Mm. But, but, but read the whole thing, make sure you can afford it throughout. So do your homework. Indeed. Good advice. Now, Charlotte, are retirement plans something that we should be um, we should be thinking about in our enduring power of attorney as well? Is that something? Absolutely. We Most villages won't let you uh, come in uh, if you haven't got enduring powers of attorney. Right, in case uh, you can't, can't make your own decisions. Exactly. It gives them um, surety that there'll always be somebody to make decisions on your behalf. Mm, a lot of food for thought there. Thank you very much, Richard and Charlotte. Great advice on perpetual guardian money matters.